I'm going to be making a huge pot of chili tonight. I want to make a bunch of chili to put in bags and put in the freezer so we can have them as quick meals for this next semester here. I have some chili beans, which have penno beans, chili peppers, onion, garlic, and zesty tomato sauce. Kidney beans with 50% less sodium. Uh, regular pinto beans, also with 50% less sodium. One can of black beans with 50% less sodium. And I have two types of diced tomatoes here. One with zesty jalapenos, and the other one has green peppers and onions. And I guess these are petite, so uh, I'm going to be throwing those in there. I uh, chopped up a medium-sized yellow onion, have a pound of ground beef that is thawed and about room temperature, and some, I was supposed to get chili grind, and I picked this up by accident. It's stir-fry strips, beef stir-fry strips, so uh, I'm going to cut these up into smaller little chunks and um, throw that in there too. Adding some, either some chili grind or some beef strips in there really gives it a nice texture. The ground beef is good filler for meat wise. Um, if you don't like meat in your chili you can just go with the beans and the vegetables. And I'm not going to be seasoning it with too much else. Probably just some garlic powder, paprika, and uh, chili powder here. Eight cans of beans, two cans of diced tomatoes, and with the meat and the onion uh, this should make a lot and it's pretty easy. You just throw it all together. Well, I, I'm going to brown the meat first and then throw everything else in. We're going to let it simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour. I'm kind of cheating by using the cans, I guess. If you wanted to go hardcore and do all your own beans, you know, soak them, cook them, strain them, uh, that's pretty hardcore. So you can do that if you want. I'm just going to dump the cans in and let everything simmer down. When I've made this chili before, it, uh, it comes out great, and it's a lot better than eating chili from a can. And like I said, this will make a lot, so I'm going to put it in the uh, gallon freezer bags and freeze it so we have quick easy meals. All I have to do is make some, some cornbread, which is easy, just throw that together. It takes a few minutes to bake that and then you got a meal. Oh, I got a new knife. To replace my, my old knife, which everyone complains about, uh, which I've sharpened it, but it's just not that great of a knife. I found this one. It's a sushi knife. Sushi knife is what it claims to be. Um, on Amazon, it's stainless steel, and it's freaking sharp. And it's only eight bucks, so it's kind of flexible. I figure for eight bucks, it have great reviews. Uh, it, it cuts really well, so at eight bucks, uh, you know, six months or a year, I could just replace it again. So I'm gonna cut up the steak with this bad boy. Well, that knife sure did make quick work of all that meat getting it cubed up. So what I'm going to do is get the meat browned up in here and open up all the cans and then dump those in after the meat is browned. Now I've dumped the onions in before with the meat and they, by the time the meat's done browning and it simmers, the onions have pretty much dissolved. So I think I'm going to dump the onions in when I dump all the all the beans and everything and I think the, the onions will still cook while it simmers, but they'll st I'm hoping that they'll still going to retain some of their body. So I'm going to put the, the meats in here and brown them and the seasonings, and then we'll dump the cans in. I forgot to mention that I'm going to put a little bit of cayenne in here. Not a whole lot, but a little bit of cayenne pepper. I don't have exact measurements for everything. I just kind of put it in until it smells good. So that's looking about done there. 
Okay, I'm going to pour the onions in and then go open up the cans. The onions, the, the heat is off, but the onions will still start to flavor the meat and kind of cook. And I want to retain, I'm, I'm trying to retain just a little bit of the onion body, hopefully. Okay, that's looking pretty good now. And that's just the meat. So you need a really big pot if you're going to do this big of a recipe. Of course, you could scale it down, but it helps with a big pot. All right, now don't go gung-ho and open all your cans at once because you might not need that many. I'm definitely going to open two chili beans um, or pinto beans. Those are kind of my base. And I'm going to open one can of each other type of bean that I'm putting in here. I don't drain it. I just dump everything in. And we let it simmer, simmer off uh, the extra juices. Chili beans. Fancy pinto beans right here. No chili beans. Low sodium pinto beans. And low sodium kidney beans. Let's see how that's looking. It's looking good. I think we need to add something else though. I think I'm going to go with another kidney bean and another chili bean. And then maybe my other can of diced tomatoes too. I hope these jalapenos don't make it too hot. I don't think they will because they're zesty jalapenos. See, this is why I say don't open all your cans at once because this will make so much more than you think when you're just looking at it on the countertop. So I put in all the cans except for one. One can of pinto beans is still out. And I think this is gonna be enough. Turn the fire back on, onto a uh, low, medium low, and let it simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour until it gets thicker, um, until it gets the consistency you want. I'm gonna check it again in about uh, 15 minutes and stir it around, see how it looks. It's been about 45 minutes, and I've been stirring it about every 15 minutes or so. So let's take a look here. I don't think it's quite done yet, but... And that is on a low simmer. I mean, a, a low burner output. I said before in other videos, this lid is so, so dang heavy that the heat really builds up in this pot. It smells delicious. Uh, it's still... Still a little runny, so I'm going to let it uh, keep simmering. Come back another 15 minutes. Alright, well here it is all done. It's been a little over an hour now. And I actually let it simmer for the last 15 minutes without the lid on, so... It's looking pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and let it... Uh, it's still a little... A little thin and there's there was a lot of juices in there so if I have to let it simmer for a little bit longer I will do that but I think I'm gonna let it cool for a while and see if it starts to thicken up at all well here's the finished product and uh, I already scooped a bunch of it out into some freezer bags it's uh, cooled down completely and it came out really good and it thickened up uh, this one stayed a little bit more runny than I would have liked, but if you want to make a bunch of really good, quick and easy meals, I highly recommend it. Thanks.